गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अनदर टॉपिक इन द सेम चैप्टर इन द चैप्टर इज द लिविंग वर्ल्ड द लिविंग वर्ल्ड दिस इज द चैप्टर एंड द टॉपिक इज टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज टेक्सोनोमिक कैटेगरीज इन द अर्लियर टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट डाइवर्सिटी and we have also discussed about diversity of animals and plant we have also discussed about taxa now the taxa the convenient categories as, as i have already told you today we will be talking about another topic that is taxonomic categories first of all i will like to tell you that classification is not a single step process in it involves number of steps and these steps are called as categories or ranks now in a scientific language if you say these steps are called as taxonomic category now we have number of taxonomic category and all the taxonomic category together constitutes taxonomic hierarchy i know it is little difficult for you to understand but that is the reason why i will give you a small example uh, just in order to make you understand this now let us let me give you an example for example there is a common house fly the scientific name is musca domestica this is a common name now there there can be many taxonomic categories for this particular organism let us start with genus so genus is musca then family musidae then order order is diptera then class class is insecta then suppose uh comes the then comes the phylum phylum of, of this organism this organism belongs to phylum which is called as arthropoda arthropoda and then kingdom it is obviously animalia so these are all taxonomic categories genus family order class phylum kingdom these are all taxonomic categories now arranging all these arrangement of all these taxonomic categories constitutes taxonomic hierarchy that is a particular term which i will like to say taxonomic hierarchy so all these things genus family order class phylum kingdom all these together constitutes taxonomical hierarchy for example genus is musca family musidae order diptera class insecta phylum orthopoda kingdom animalia not only this for example in case of animals also there can be many are uh, taxonomic categories and they combine together to form taxonomical hierarchy for example in case of homo sapiens let us take an example of human beings the genus is homo as you already know then comes the family family is hominidae then comes the order order is primata then comes the class class is mammalia this is the class and then comes the phylum phylum is chordata 
then comes the kingdom kingdom is animalia see this genus is a taxonomic category family is again a taxonomic category order is again a taxonomic category it can be called as rank also class is again a taxonomic category phylum is again a taxonomic category kingdom is again a taxonomic category see genus can be called as taxonomic category it can be it can also be called as a taxon family is again a taxonomic category it can be called as taxon order is again a taxonomic category it can be called as taxon similarly class phylum kingdom all are taxonomic categories they can also be called as taxon see when these categories are arranged together they constitutes taxonomical hierarchy now let us start with the let us study each taxonomic category one by one starting with the species okay we will be starting with the species species see species is the smallest unit of classification it is you can also say species is the smallest taxonomic category for example if suppose if i write solenum tuberosum solenum melon melongena solenum nigrum see obviously these these are plants and you can very well differentiate between them due to morphological differences species are the smallest category which are very very similar to each other for example in case of potato plant the name the species is called as solenum tuberosum all the potato plants will be very similar to each other this species is different from solenum melongena this is different from solenum nigrum these are all different plant species and they can be observed morphologically then again in case of animals suppose if i write panthera leo this is loin then i write panthera tigris this is tiger and i write panthera pardus this is again a leopard you can easily differentiate between these these different species so i think you have understood the concept of species let us now talk about again another taxonomic taxonomical category again a taxonomic category a new taxonomic category which is called as genus now all the similar species are put together in the same genus for example in case of animals as i have already told you panthera leo panthera pardus panthera tigris you can see that in the first word i have wrote panthera these all the three species three different species belong to the same genus that is panthera in the case of plants suppose i am talking about plants now potato and brinjal though are two different species but they belong to the same genus and that is solenum so 
ग्रुप ऑफ स्पीशीज विच आर वेरी सिमिलर टू ईच अदर कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ जिनस नाउ वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अनदर टेक्सोनोमिक कैटेगरी एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज फैमिली दैट इज कॉल्ड एज फैमिली फैमिली सी कैट फैमिली हैज अ सपरेट जिनस विच इज कॉल्ड एज फेलिस फेलिस एंड इट इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम पेंथरा कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ लॉय टाइगर and leopard but in a family the similar gene genus are placed together to form a family so felis genus and panthera genus can both be placed together and they will form a separate family called as felidae so these not only includes cats these also includes tiger leopard and lion so the now the family is called as felidae similarly in case of in case of plants dhatura petunia and solanum together constitutes a family and is called as solan aca solan aca they have a separate family called as solan aca so now here we see that similar genus having common characteristics they can be put together in a similar family both for plants and animals now we will be talking about another higher taxonomic category and that is called as order similar families constitutes an order now let us talk about an example for example dog have a separate family and that is called as canidae now panthera lion tiger and cats they have a separate family called as felidae both can be put together to form a single order and that order is called as carnivora similarly for plants plants like corn wool wool a c a it is a family and solan a c a based on floral pattern the type of floral arrangement flower arrangement they can be put together in a same order called as polymoniales so they now constitutes another order which is called as polymoniales so i think you have understood order also now we will be talking about another higher taxonomic category and that is called as that that taxonomic category will be called as class now many orders combine together to form a class for example in case of animals such as order such as primata which constitutes human beings chimpanzee gibbons can be placed together with another order for example carnivora and then even herbivora can be included in this and they will they will constitute another class which is called as mammalia they can be put together in a class which is called as mammalia so many similar orders having similar characteristics they together constitute a class so for for example order primata and carnivora in case of animals they have 
they are present in they have uh, they are called a class they are included in a class which is called as mammalia now let us discuss about another taxonomic category after class we will be discussing about phylum phylum we use to we use the term phylum in case of uh, animals and for uh, plants we use the term divisions division now let us talk about phylum many similar classes together constitute a single phylum having basic similar characteristics for example presence of hollow dorsal nerve cord presence of noto cord classes like mammalia aves amphibia reptiles fishes they are all included in phylum chordata they are included in phylum chordata classes mammalia aves okay then uh, reptilia amphibians fishes all together they form a phylum chordata and this is due to basically due to presence of dorsal nerve cord that is presence of nervous system in the dorsal position and a structure which is called as notochord which you will study in chapter 4 what is a notochord due to present of these structures in their life cycle they have been put together in the same phylum and that phylum is called as chordata chordata phylum chordata you know the next higher level of taxonomic category is kingdom it is called as kingdom now w h vitakar in 1969 he was able to categorize all the living organism he was able to put together all the living organism into five kingdoms now what these five kingdoms were first was monera that included all the bacteria having prokaryotic cell the second was protista he put together all the unicellular eukaryotic organism were put together in protista then then comes the fungi all the organism which do not had any kind of chlorophyll but have filament like structures hyphae they were put together in kingdom fungi then he put planty another created another kingdom planty all the plants from right from the bryophytes till the angiosperms were put together in kingdom planty it also included algae now fifth one animalia so these were the five kingdoms in which the vitakar classified all living organism so this is the highest taxonomic category and uh, all those phylum which are very similar to each other constitutes a single kingdom so i hope you like my today's topic i hope you have understood it thank you very much have a nice day